our business quote of the day. Motivation is the catalyzing ingredient for every successful innovation. Clayton Christensen Hi and welcome to another episode of The Grind. My name is Val Letinjaki and today I'm in a very unique business. It's a car wash but not your ordinary car wash and we're going to understand why. And joining me, uh, my guest today, is going to explain to us why this business was started and it has quite the unique name. Shine and sparkles, I mean, you bring your car, it shines and it sparkles. So I'm going to let him introduce himself so that he can tell us who he is and what his position is here at Shine and Sparkles. Karibu sana. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to take this opportunity to welcome you to Shine and Sparkles, Car yes. Services. Mikasa huh? Sukasa, right? Yes. Feel free, yeah? Yeah. All right. Uh, secondly, my name is Michael Lamisi and I'm the manager at the car wash. Oh. Thank you very much. Welcome one more time. Thank you so Karibu much. Karibu sana. Uh, so, uh, Shine and Sparkles, when was it started? Okay, basically we have been in this industry for a while now. It has been six years down the line. Mm, and six. so far so good. Yeah, six, even six, yeah, so six, good. yeah, six years down the line. Ah. Yeah, we are still doing good. Thank God even during the pandemic we didn't close. So, yeah, we appreciate a lot. Thank you very much. So, why was Shine and Sparkle started? Okay, uh, during that time, actually that one is a good question. So first of all, we had to come during this environment, there were no car washes here. Ah. So we decided like, why, why not? Because there was no many competitors around and it was way back. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it was six, six years, years, ago, yeah, six yeah. years ago down the line. So we decided we came here, we did our research, we saw the environment and people, offer, of course, people were asking for the car washes and stuff. So that was one of the main reasons as why we decided to open a car wash, especially in this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So we decided, why not? Because there are no many competitors during that time. Yes. And plus, of course, I'm not going to say that there were no car washes during that time. But for us, you know, I always tell people, like uh, our people outside, our clientele and stuff. So basically, we're not just a regular car wash. We are more of a car wash and detailing. Ah. So we just don't do cars, yes. but we do detailing as well. Ah. So that's the part where we are always like, you know, special yeah, when it comes to that category. <laughs> yeah, that's the uniqueness <laughs> yes. about it. So it's not more of a car wash, it's more of a detailing. So that's why we decided, you know what? Because we checked around. So people are just doing car washes and stuff. So we decided, why not? We try and space it up, Kidogo. We decided to throw in the detailing part. Ah. So that was the main reason as to why we decided to open a car wash here. Ah. Thank you very much. So, uh, Shine and Sparkles, you said it's not an ordinary car wash. You Definitely have detailing not. and all. Yeah. What exactly is entailed in what Shine and Sparkles offers? Okay, uh, if I decide to go into deeper into the detailing part, so detailing it, it entails of a lot of things. So if I speak about the interior detailing, so it's a lot of things. We have the interior detailing, we have the exterior detailing, we have the underwash detailing, we have the engine wash detailing. So we have so many services. It comes as a package. So it depends, like when a clientele is coming in, it depends like specifically what does the client want. Yes. Yeah, so they're not just coming in just uh, specifically just for a car wash. So they can come in, they'll be like, oh, I just want an interior detailing, I want an exterior detailing, like I said, an underwash and an engine wash. So it depends. Just to like break it down for you a little bit so that you can be able to understand what yes, I'm speaking yes. about. So if you're talking about the interior detailing, that means like we're going to do everything interior. So it means we're going to do the roof, we're going ah. to do the seats. We're going to do the floor carpet, uh, the dashboard so and the panels. You're touching everything like, inside. Basically everything on the interior, we're going to do that. Ah. So it's self-explanatory if I tell you about the exterior as well. Yeah, so that's what we normally do. Yeah. So when someone comes into through the gate, yeah. they're not only coming for a wash. That is how you basically package shiny. Exactly, sparkles. exactly. Wow, okay, that yeah, is quite Yeah, that's the essence of it. That's the essence. So that's, the, that's the only way you can be able to differentiate us between other car washes and shine and sparkles services as True. well. Most That's definitely. a unique aspect. Yeah, sure, sure. Yes. So, when it comes to detailing, okay. I, I saw that you also have something to do with the engine. Yeah, true. And for a person who knows about cars, engines are not supposed to like get water and all that. How are you able to make sure that we can take care of your engine and make sure that it doesn't uh, get spoiled in the process? All right. Okay, so what I can say about that, times are changing right now, so we are having technology. Yeah, I understand that part when, okay, people are always having that phobia of washing their engine. Yes. Yeah. But now, times have changed, like I've said, so we have technology. So we have, uh, basically we have a machine, it's called a steam wash engine. So that one came in uh, specifically just to be doing the engine washes. Ah. So when you bring your car and you're using the steam wash engine, you don't have to worry about anything. Okay. So everything is going to be under control and plus also I have uh, professional people here, so we normally just don't hire, you know, mediocre stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so we have people who understand what they're doing. So they come in so you don't have to worry about your engine, everything is going to be safe. 
you drove in, you're going to drive out. Ah, yeah. So the way you've said that you, you do not just pick anyone to work at Shine and Sparkles, are they people who have been taught what, how a car should be taken care of, the detailing and all that? True, true, true. There are people who have experience already. Yeah, just to brag a little bit, we even used to have white people coming in so that they can teach us, especially the engine uh, detailing part. Okay. Yeah, so it's an experience which came from abroad. Yeah, so that's why So we normally have people who at least they know what they're doing, especially for the engine part because it's very crucial. Yes. Yeah, that's not something you're supposed to come and joke with. Yes. And that's why we had to like import the machine so that we can be able to be doing the steam engine and everything. To make yeah, sure everything so is So definitely fire. people are professionals, they know what they're doing at the end of the day. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about your clientele. You said when you're looking for a spot, uh, the area that you're in around you didn't have a car wash then. Yeah. Is this also something that you put in mind when looking for your clientele and what does your clientele look like? Yeah, true. Uh, I guess like any other business when you're trying to open a business, it's better you first of all do a research. So you have to properly do a research, analyze everything so that at least you can be able to know whether you're going to have so many competitors. It's not going to be a good idea if you open a business and then you have like other competitors just like say a few meters away from you. Yes. So you're going to competing at the end of the day. But it's good to always be like, you know, solitary so that at least you can be able to, you know, do your thing. So that's one of the reasons as why we decided to open this surrounding because there were no car washes during yes. that time. Yes. Yeah. So and it's not about the environment. We just saw like it's a good opportunity to open a car wash over here. So in terms of clientele, we, we're not choosy. We're not choosy. We are open for everybody. Yes. So as long as your car is dirty, just bring it in, we make it shine and sparkles at the end of the day. <laughs> yes. So we don't select. Yes. Yeah, just anybody can drive in, we chop out the job and everything is good. Yeah, sure. So with that in mind, okay. what is the pricing of shine and sparkles? If someone walks in or drives in rather, and they want a certain uh, detailing in there, can it be a car wash and the upholstery? Like what, how do you price your services? Okay, uh, so for that one, it depends. It depends, like uh, for instance, if I tell you about uh, the SUVs, because we have the SUVs, we have the saloon cars. So for SUVs, mostly we normally charge. It's, it's a uh, standard uh, rate, eh? very affordable. So for SUVs, we normally charge 500 just for a basic wash. Ah. Yeah, and for saloon cars, it's just 400. Ah. But now it depends, like you have asked for reupholstery, so it depends. You have to first of all analyze your car so that at least you can be able to tell the damage. Because probably like, uh, you can be having problems in terms of the dashboard, the seats, uh, probably the floor carpet is very badly torn and stuff. So at least we have to analyze the car so that at least we can be able to know how we're ah. going to charge it. So that one also comes in when it comes to the exterior of the car, the interior. Because even the exterior, we normally have other services which are called buffing, waxing. So that one you have to bring your car so that we can analyze it. If it is badly dent, has a lot of scratches, pain correction and stuff, so that at least we can be able to tell you how much you're going to pay. It's not like a fixed rate for that one. Ah. Yeah. So you have to bring your car, we analyze it, then we know. So at least we can be able to know how we are going to advise you on that. Okay. All right. So you've talked about SUVs okay. and it has come to mind like a lot of the cars that I've seen driving, even from the moment I came in, yeah. they're like big uh, brick brand cars. Right. How have you been able to put yourself uh, in the market that even people with this, you know how on Akwaga, I have my own car wash, have, yeah, but true, you've been true. able to put yourself that this car, they are okay going to shine and sparkles. How have you been able to put yourself in the market that there is that niche that is shine and sparkles, they can't go anywhere else? Okay, so at the end of the day, I feel like it all depends on the service. So the service and uh, definitely how we attend to our clients also matters at the end of the yes. day. Yeah? So basically the products we normally use, so every time when the clients are coming in and then they see how they are leaving this place and they are sparkled, definitely they are going to come back at the end of the day. So it's not even uh, a matter of like also products like I said earlier, mostly it falls in customer service if I may say so. So how we make them feel like they are comfortable, the warmth we normally give them and stuff. So yeah, basically that's it. Nothing else, because there's no way I'm going to start saying that our products are better than yes. other people's products or something like that, because I've never been to those other car washes, so I cannot say that. So what I can say about that one, definitely it has to be the customer the service. service yeah. uh -huh. So the service we normally provide, how we welcome them here, the warmth we normally offer and everything. So they feel like, yeah, they, they feel appreciated at the end of the day. So that's why they keep on coming back. Uh -huh. So for a normal day, yeah. how many uh, cars are you able to service? Uh, honestly speaking, I lost count. I <laughs> wow, lost count. Yeah, okay. Because so sure. we are always very busy, very busy, especially when you come, like, let's say, because on our Wednesday we're always having an offer. So we are always having that offer, it's like a free vacuum offer. So that day we are always like super busy. And then not to mention like, of course, the weekends at the end of the day. Yes. Yeah, and, and on a Sunday. 
So those days are like very crucial, very busy. I cannot even tell you how many cars we normally wash in a day, yes. but I know we will normally wash a lot of cars. Yeah. Uh, so, and generally when a car comes in, how long does it take for it to have, like, get washed in maybe one of the details that they go for? How long does it take? Okay, so for that one, it depends. Like when a client is coming in, so it depends. If you're coming for an interior, that one depends on the interior. Probably it's fabric or leather or something like that, so that at least you can be able to know in terms of time. Because if you're doing now the interior detailing, definitely that one is going to take the whole day. Yeah, because you have to do a good job at the end of the day, because you're like basically washing everything. But if it's just a basic wash, a basic wash, let's say like a body wash and a vacuum, that one goes for around 45 minutes to an hour max. You're done, you go to the, you're where done, you go to the next car. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Uh, you've talked about cars with like uh, leather interiors. How different are they that uh, this, uh, the leather car, uh, the car with the leather interior will get this kind of detailing and the other will get? How different is it uh, from your six years of experience? All right. What are the differences that you learn of taking care of this kind of car and this other kind of car? You know, when it comes to the leather, it's going to be somewhat easier compared to fabric. Yeah, so even when you're doing a, a service called shampooing the car, so it's going to be very easy because you know leather is not going to like, let's say, absorb a lot of water or something like that one compared to a fabric seat. So for that one, in terms of time, like I said earlier, it's going to be faster because now that one you're just going to, the shampoo is going to be very fast. And then after that, now even applying the leather care and everything, that one is going to be very fast. But you know, for a fabric seat, definitely when you're doing shampoo, it's going to be a little bit wet. Even if you're going to use the extractor, so you still need to give it time to properly dry. Yes. Because there's no way you're going to return the car to a client and then it's somewhat wet because it's going to be smooth yes. and we don't do such things. That one is not going to be a good job at the end of the day. Yes. So that one somehow is going to be tarnishing the name of the company and we don't want to do that. So for the six experience, the six years experience we have been in the market, so we try to avoid such things. So it's better I be honest with you when you're coming in, I tell you like because this is fabric, so this one we need a little bit more time so that at least you're going to deliver. Yeah, so it depends. So those ones are the difference between the fabric and the leather. Yeah. So with the services that you offer. Is this the only uh, location that you have at the moment? Yeah, true. At the moment, this is the only location we're having, but uh, my boss uh, is intending to open another branch in Kisumu. So very soon, check us out on our media pages, you'll see us out, so definitely. Okay, so Kisumu, this, here we come. <laughs> yeah, this, sure. this being the only location that you have at the moment, okay. what happens if someone is quite far, but they want the services of Shine and Sparkle? Uh, definitely, like uh, our details are on our social media page on our IG, so definitely you can find our number from there. So they normally call us, it happens a lot. We have ah. clientele coming all the way from Kitusuru, all the way from, uh, I don't know, like let's say Eastlands uh -huh. or something like that. So they normally come here. So we just direct them via phone and they come at the end of the oh. day. As long as we are able to communicate together, so everything is okay. Oh, yeah, so we, they come, some of them they even start communicating to us, and then we drop them the pin, they follow the pin all the way. So that one is common, it's ah. normal. Yeah, yeah, it's normal. Yeah, how it's far a has a client come to come from? To mostly get to... Eastlands, mm -hmm. yeah. So there's this place uh, past the airport. Um, no longer Siokimau? Yes, Siokimau it uh, is. Yes, Siokimau. So they're all, all the way from Siokimau and they come here. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> true. Wow. Well, for Shine and Sparkles, their quality service is what is getting them clients uh -huh. from all over Nairobi. And pretty soon, maybe from all over Kenya. We're going to take a short break, but when we come back, we're going to understand what are some of the challenges that they face when running this kind of a business. You are watching TV 47, the home of untold stories. On the next episode of The Realtor. Kenya has been faced with the waste disposal challenge for the longest time, especially from plastic because of its nature. But did you know? The same waste material can be used in construction and of course be stronger than plastic. Join me this Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. as I talk to Nzambi of Jijenge Makers. Three things. The brick is stronger, it's cheaper, and it's lighter. Hey! <laughs> Kaluma King Herbal Lozenges Zinazo Nguvu Maradufu Kutuliza Kikohozi, Vidonda Vyako, na Mafua. Kaluma King ni shwari. Echi kama mahoyo muharifu kaiba kukuzaku. Viparaga wagu na maya hizo tepi ya kabeba. Haya echi kama mahoyo. Mumivu ya kizidi, muone daktari. You are watching TV 47. The home of untold stories.
Hi and welcome back for those who meet the first part. My name is Violet and I'm at Shine and Sparkles. I'm shining and I'm sparkling here as I talk to the manager of Shine and Sparkles. He's been telling me how they got to start six years into the business and they are rising way above what you would really expect. But in the six years, it didn't take like instant pop hit for you to like get to where you are. How, how long did it take for you to like garner the clientele and also the, uh, the niche that you have? Okay, uh, first and foremost, so definitely the journey was not that smooth, so definitely we were experiencing ups and downs as well. But uh, the best part was because we were the first people to open the car wash business in this area. So definitely it didn't take us much time ah, for us to so pick because we, yeah, so we didn't have competitors around. So definitely that was the best part. So I don't know what I can say, probably I can say we got lucky or something like that one. because. Yeah. Uh, you know, being the first people to start our business in this environment, so it gave us an advantage at the end yeah. of the day. So it was just a matter of like, uh, like wanted you wanted to ask, uh, I'm going to skip a little bit, wanted you wanted about the marketing part. So it didn't take us uh, much of time to do that because we were the only people around here. Yes. So these people staying around here, the residents staying around here, so they were like, oh, at least now we have a car wash and stuff. Cause yeah. So it only took us, let's say, let's say probably a month just oh. to be precise. And yeah, work was flowing, clientele were driving in yes. yeah, like water. So at the end of the day, so it was <laughs> yes. good. Yeah, it was, so in terms of the challenges and the journey, uh -huh. so it didn't take us that much. Yeah, so it was I think, an advantage. Yeah. For, it was an exactly because we were the only people who had opened the car wash here. So yeah. Now that you've talked about marketing, how does Shine and Sparkle market themselves so that people can know this Shine and Sparkle somewhere? Okay, first and foremost, the service at the end of the day, yes. and definitely we have you know life has changed. So we have uh, social media pages at the end of the day. So that's how we market ourselves as well, and. Uh, Lastly, but not least, so we are always communicating to our clients when they are coming in. So it's also a matter of tell a friend to tell a friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, you've talked about uh, your client uh, referral, tell a friend, tell a friend. And a uh, question that uh, has just come to mind. Do you like uh, reach out to your clients after they come get their details? Like, is your car okay? Is everything like, did you do everything as what you wanted? Yeah, definitely. The follow-up has to be there at the end of the day. So we have to make sure that uh, customer satisfactory is on the highest level. So when they are coming in, so we have to make sure we confirm everything is okay. So even if they come in today and then they come after like two days, so we have to be like, hey, last time everything was fine. Did you expect? Definitely we like it when they're also telling us the problems at the end of the day so that at least we know where we are going to improve. So the sections and the places where we need to pull up our socks at the end of the day. So when the, the feedback also is very essential. So we appreciate that as well, true. And the business feedback is really needed. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, that's how people normally grow at the end of the day, so yeah. You've talked about uh, when a client comes in, you ask them if there was a problem. And as a business, even running as a business, even as a manager, uh, there are no ch uh, there's no business that does not come with challenges. What are some of the challenges that you face running such kind of a business? Okay, like uh, at the moment, I'm even going to take uh, this opportunity to even just tell you, you can see the weather right now. So during the rainy seasons, uh, business is always somehow very low. Wait, what? Yeah, definitely, because uh, people are like, ah, why am I going to go to a car wash and it's raining already? So what, they don't want, want to bring food? their cars. Yeah, so I don't know, Garita, Chafuka, Kiosha and stuff. Mm -hmm. So they normally don't come much because uh, of the rain and stuff. Okay, that is unique because I thought actually people come more when it's raining. It's kind of challenging because uh -huh. people have that mentality when they're coming in and it's raining. So still the car is going to get dirty at the end of the day. So they feel like they have to wait for the rain to stop so that at least they can come to a car wash. Yeah, so that's one of the main challenges we're always experiencing. In terms of uh, the government, as long as you have valid documents, it's not going to be that much of an issue. And uh, what I can say about the challenges again also, it depends also in terms of your employees and staff. Because especially like for instance our car wash here is a high-end car wash. So we have clientele who are always coming here with the very expensive valuables in the car. So also another challenge can come in is if you have uh, untrustworthy stuff. So you know in terms of theft. But if you have uh, professional people, at least people who are like uh, disciplined and everything, that one is, gonna, is not going to be that much of a challenge. Yeah, but uh, just to mention a few, those ones are always one of the challenges people normally face. Yeah. Uh, so I want to take you back for a minute. You talked about having to import some of the machines that you use here. Yeah. Does that also apply for, for some of the products that you use, maybe from the sprays and all? Exactly, yeah, it depends, uh -huh. it depends. Not like, okay, I'm not going to say that uh, we normally don't have products here locally, but uh, it depends. There are some products we like importing also from outside. Yeah, products at least which are going to deliver 
you know, products which are going to at least give us good results. Yeah. So for those products, uh, mostly we normally import them. But uh, it doesn't mean that we don't have the ones which we normally use locally. We still have, guys, this is Kenya, man, we have grown, so we still yeah. have good products as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, true. So it depends. Uh, you also talked about the government having all your papers in order. But do you think that the government has done enough to support this kind of a business that they are able to continue offering the services that they do? I feel like the government can chip in. So I feel like they can come in, especially like right now, the rate of unemployment in Kenya is very high. Very high, yes. Yeah, so this one is also an opportunity, at least for the young people, for the youth. So if the government, they want to be very supportive, they can at least be, you know, opening this kind of business. I know for the government is going to be peanuts, it's not going to be that much. So they at least, you know, to at least make sure that the government is going to chip in, our youth are going to, you know, get employed and everything. So at the moment, I feel like the government is not doing that much. Yeah, because like mostly if you just move outside, you're going to find like the car wash business are just like uh, for people, not necessarily like people coming from the government or yes. something like that. They are private farms. So if the government can chip in, definitely it's going to be an added advantage. So they need to pull up their socks on that section. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so when it comes to competition, uh, what you offer, not all uh, car wash services offer, yeah. but maybe there are others that are coming up well, maybe even taking some of the details that you do. True. How True. are you planning to deal with the competition that is out there? Okay, now I'm going to agree. Right now the competition is very stiff, yes. yeah? Because now, like, people are learning from other car washes as well, yeah? yeah? So definitely when people are opening car washes at the moment right now, so they are also trying to, you know, copy some more. So they want to come with the detailing as well and stuff. So that one, at the end of the day, is going to be like the service and how you're going to do that. Yeah, you can be having these machines, but you don't know how to use it and you don't know how to deliver. Yes. So now that one at the end of the day, like I said earlier, it's just going to be a matter of service. Yes. So you can have all these machines, but you don't know how to use it or the staff, you have unprofessional people. So instead of them using them properly, because they're very crucial, if you use them very badly, they're even going to end up causing more harm to the car. Yes. So that one now, it depends like uh, the people who are on the ground are uh, like uh, qualified yes. to attend to such matters and stuff. Yes. Yeah, true. Uh, so. With the services that you offer, I've seen the car wash and the detailing and all. all right. Are there any other services that you offer apart from that? Yeah, basically that's what we normally do. Like I said earlier, it's not about just a regular car wash, it's more of a car wash and detailing. Yes. So just to break it down one more time, the detailing, it consists of a lot of things. Yes. A lot of things. So it depends when you're coming in, like what? specifically what do you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the detailing part, so many things we can never, even uh, if you look behind, uh, you can be able to see all the things you normally do. Yeah, like with the ceramic coatings, the ceramic works and everything. So probably next time when you come in, I'm going to even explain further. Yes. Yeah, on the details. So uh, definitely, yeah. And I saw also on your page that you deal with the radios and also on the TV. Yeah, true, true. What true. is that all about? Uh, just, you know, sometimes when you import a car, it comes with this uh, system from China. So you cannot be able to understand anything. But if you want a new radio installed to your car, definitely we do that as well. So that's part of the interior as well. So if you want us to fix your new sound system, yeah, just uh, one phone call away. Just give us a call, yeah, and we're yeah. going to sort you out. Yeah, true. Okay, so if someone wanted to start this business and maybe they're like beating the souls up, uh, it wouldn't be as successful as Shining Sparkles. What advice would you have for such okay. kind of person? Okay, so the advice I can give them, so first, it depends with the person who's intending to open the business. You know, we have people like, uh, we have people that just want to open a regular car wash. They don't want the detailing part. So that one is going to be a little bit simple. But if you're going to open a car wash, which is going to have the detailing part, so it's a little bit challenging. So that definitely, that, that you need products. Of course, in terms of capital, so it's going to be a little bit expensive at the end of the day. And uh, yes, it's a good job. If you can be able to open it, and of course, get your papers in check. Yes. So yeah, you can feel free to open it, join the industry. Yeah, we are here just in case if you need more advices, you know where to find us. I'll yeah. give you the location and everything and direction. You can come in and we can give you a hand. Oh, really? Yeah, why not? We are not selfish people. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So definitely we like it when we see everybody's growing. Yes, true. true. Yeah. Uh, as the manager of Shining Sparkles, what is the future of this business? The future, definitely we are, we are coming from far. And I believe we are still heading far. Yes. So we are still growing at the end of the day. So just uh, to take a recap, like I said, when we are attending to our clients, we like it when they're giving us the feedback. 
so at least you know because i'm not going to say like we are at the peak already so we're still growing so when they're giving us the feedback at least we know where we're going to pull up our socks where we are supposed to change and everything so we're still growing so we are still uh, having a journey in front of us and yeah we appreciate uh, god mbele and i believe everything is going to be okay yes. yeah we are heading somewhere yeah. yeah true six six years as a manager what has being in business taught you as an entrepreneur and as a person in business definitely nothing good comes easy at the end of the day so you have to sweat a little bit and uh, yeah just trust the journey at the end of the day if you want to experience success and always be positive be focused and always be you know jovial at the end of the day definitely you're going to grow uh, yeah true yeah so if someone wants the services of shine and sparkles where and how can they get in touch all right, so for that one, just to give you guys a parting shot. So if you want to, uh, to find us at uh, Shen and Sparkles, you're going to get us in Modangari Road. Yeah, so uh, on our social media page, you're going to find us on Instagram, uh, Shen and Sparkles. That's it, definitely. All our contacts are there. Just give us a call. Just in case if you're getting lost, we're going to direct you and you're going to be here. Wow. Welcome, please. Karibu Nisana. Well, Thank you so much for your time. It's been an honor. It's been and an honor. Thank you for the, all the insights that you've given unto us. Anytime, anytime. And you're hoping some pe more people will come ask for learning lessons yes. so that they can true, go. True, true, true. I'm, I'm even thinking. I'm even thinking of even telling my superior about that. So you see if we can open an academy for that as well, wow. so that at least we can be able to be teaching people about such. Yeah, no, yeah exactly. Not, it's not everywhere that you can get such kind of services. True, true, true. Definitely. Thank you so much for your insights. Pleasure is all mine. And Pleasure we're hoping that mine. more people will continue to rise up. Inshallah. Unemployment is what Inshallah. you're trying to get rid of. Exactly, I agree, I agree. Yes. I agree. Well, that is all that we had for you today. We've been told that be jovial at the end of the day, no matter what. In, it's business. Be jovial at the end of the day because tomorrow is still another day. Well, that is all that we had for you. Remember to talk to us and tell us which business do you want us to feature next? Who do you want us to talk to? Talk to us on 22047 on all our... our talk, text us on 22047 or text us on TV47KE on all our social media platforms or my personal uh, platform, Violet Njoki, all across the platforms. Until next week, when you get to another business, another entrepreneur, see you then. to send questions, comments or suggestions for your favorite TV47 shows, call us on telephone number 0740-047-047 or email us at maoni at tv47.co.ke. You can also write to us on PO Box 2358 slash 00621 Nairobi. You can also drop your complaint or feedback at our offices located at number 10 Ojija Close off Ojija Road, Parklands, Nairobi. Mm -hmm.